Welcome to the Year 2 strategy for adding tidy numbers. In this lesson, I'm learning to add tidy numbers by skip counting forwards and tens. Let's start by going down to our hundreds board. Well, let's choose. A, let's start by choosing a number. Here's 13. When I add a tidy number, a number like 10, 20, 30, 40, all I have to do is head down my hundreds board. So if I was at 18 and I wanted to add 20, I'd go down 10 and another 10, which takes me to 38. Let's have a look at why when I add a tidy number, I'm heading straight down my board. Right, I'm going to start at uh, 56, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to count up 10 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Notice how the tenth number is directly below the number that I started at. And you can also see that when I'm adding tens, my ones digit isn't changing. So in this example, my ones digit was a six. Let's go back up and try a question. Let's imagine I've got 22 counters, and I want to add 30 more. Well, I'm going to start at 22, and if I add another 10, that will take me to 32. And if I add another 10, that will take me to 42. And if I add one more 10, that will take me to 52. And I'm just going to double check that I've added enough numbers. That was my jump of 10. Another jump takes me to 42, and my third jump takes me up to 52. Notice how with all these jumps, the ones digit never changed. We can also see what that looks like on our hundreds board. Here is 22. That's a jump of 10. All the way down to there would be a jump of 20. And all the way down to here is a jump of 30 which takes us to 52. Let's try another question. This time I've got uh, 41 counters, and I want to add another 20. So just like last time, I'm going to start at 41. If I add 10, that takes me to 51. And if I add another 10, that takes me to 61. We'll double check that we've added the amount that we need to. We had to add 20. There is my first jump of 10, and there is my second jump of 10. And just like in the other examples, notice how my ones digit isn't changing. Let's go down and see what that looks like on a hundreds board. Uh, here is a 41. That would be a jump of 10, which would take me to 51, or all the way down here is a jump of 20, which takes me to 61. Let's have a think about the important things to remember in this lesson. Well, when we're adding tens or tidy numbers, we're heading straight down the board. And because we're doing that, the ones digit is never changing. You can find the activity sheet that goes with this lesson in the Teacher Tools Addition and Subtraction book from the White Book Collection.